Okay, let's look at this case of um, the still on deductions of uh, from Newton's second of motion. You have a mass, a ball at point A, drop from rest. And uh, the height of the ball initially is 5 meters above the ground. This at surface. And this ball falls and rebounds to a height of 3.8 meters above the ground. So at the point where the ball hits the ground or the floor, and rebounds the momentum of this ball changes at this point so what is the momentum change of this ball when it hits the ground at the point where it hits the ground and rebounds from the ground that's the first question momentum change and then the force exerted on the ball by the floor if the ball is in contact with the floor for 0 0.08 seconds okay so I'm going to say apply the Newton second of motion, the equations of Newton second of motion to solve this uh, problem, and that is F equals final momentum minus initial momentum over T. But first of all, we are required to find the momentum change of the body. Momentum change of the ball, this is final momentum minus the initial load momentum. So, which means I need to find the initial velocity of this ball and the final velocity of this ball. The 5 meters and the 3.8 meters are not the velocities of this ball because some students can make that mistake. When you give them this question, they start using 5 and 3.8 as the uh, velocities, the initial and final. That will lead to a very wrong uh, result or answer. So what we we'll do, since the ball is dropped from rest at point A, it means that uh, the speed of this ball before it hits this surface must be found. Before it's the surface, let's call that speed initial velocity u. So I want to call the direction towards the surface as the initial direction, and I can give that negative. And when this ball makes a rebound, it moves in this upward direction, and I call that my final uh, velocity. Okay, I can give that my positive direction. And let's say it rises to point B, where it is momentarily at rest again. It's at rest at point B. And uh, of course, even it was at rest or it was released from rest at point A. So at point A, the initial velocity is zero. Just before it strikes the ground, you know, what is the velocity of this ball? I'm taking that as initial. I take that as my U. Okay, which is initial velocity here? Just before it strikes the ground, you know, what's that velocity? That velocity U will be given by square root of 2. G H. Where did I get this equation from? From equations of motion. V squared equals U squared plus 2 G H. The one of the velocities must be zero. Since it starts falling from rest, so one of them must be zero. And the second velocity is what I need here. That is velocity before it makes contact with the ground, with the floor. So I'm calling that velocity my initial with regards to this, with respect to this my equation. I'm taking this U as the velocity of the ball before it strikes the surface, okay? So that from there, I have my U is equal to square root of 2 times, I'll take, uh, to simplify my calculation, I'll take G as 10 times uh, 5. Of course, you know that uh, you have to pay attention to the question. Some question may ask you to use um, 9.8 as your uh, value of uh, G, so be careful there. So this is 2 times 5, 10. 10 times 10 is 100. My initial speed is 10 meters per second, okay? That's what I'll take as the speed of the body, of the ball just before it's the surface. Now, after the contact with the surface, it rebounds in this upward direction and again, and again comes to rest at point B. When it comes to rest at point B, the speed again is zero. So now I want to find the rebound speed. My rebound speed is now this... I'm, what I'm going to take as V, that is what I'm looking for in this equation. So the speed with which it leaves the surface is my V. So I'm taking that as the final velocity, which multiplied by the mass gives me the final momentum of the ball. Okay? So I've still used the equation V is equal to square root of 2 G H. So I have my V equals square root of 2 times 10 times uh, 3.8 meters, okay? So that gives me V equals the square root of, um, this is 20 times 3.8. Now the square root of 76 is 8.7. So it rebounds with a speed of 8.7 meters per second. So I can now simply or quickly find my momentum change 
momentum change again this final minus initial momentum of course um, i've already taken my direction or assigned my direction negative and positive direction upwards the rebound direction which is upward i take that as positive meaning that my final speed here is positive which is what i got say 8.7 and my initial velocity that when it's coming down of course that is taken as negative so this gives me mv minus m into minus u because my u is a negative as you can see here so that gives me mv plus mu that is m that's what the body 0.045 into v plus u of course that is 0 0.045 into 8.7 plus 10 that gives me 0 0.045 times 18.7 okay so that gives the momentum change of the body gives me 0 0.84 newton second so that's momentum change of the body the next question says we shall calculate the force exerted on the ball by the floor if the ball is in contact with the floor, let me call that I R here, it's in contact with it from 0 0.08 seconds. So the force exerted is momentum change over time. That F gives me 0 0.84, which is what I got here, as momentum change over 0 0.08. So dividing that 0 0.08, that gives me 10.5 Newton. So that is the force that is exerted on the uh, ball by the surface and is the same as the force that the ball exerts on the surface okay the two forces are equal and opposite for Newton's third law of motion action and reaction are equal and opposite okay so in the next video we'll see more questions on this